Hello People That Exist. I'm ranking Jayhawk's albums. And, um, this is the only one I'm not ranking because I'm not sure I've ever listened to Rainy Day music. Oh, also, I'm not ranking Blue Earth. Or not, like, listened through the whole album. Nor Blue Earth or their, like, first album or Mockingbird Time. So, pretty much... Post... Pearlman... I meant, not Post Pearlman. Post Olsen... And then the two best other Jayhawks albums. So ranked in my bottom spot, I actually tied these two. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. They have some amazing songs. Waiting for the Sun, Crowded in the Wings, and I'd say, I don't know, one or two more. And then this one, Blue, I'd Run Away, Bad time, uh, three of the best. So maybe, maybe tomorrow the green grass is a bit better. But they're both great albums, but not particularly my favorite. Even though it is kind of annoying that um, Tom Petty probably accidentally copied Waiting for the Sun and then someone else copied Tom Petty. Okay, moving on. Number five, Paging Mr. Proust. It's great. Let's see, if I were to say my opinions on each song going um, first to last. Pretty good. Great. Pretty good. Pretty good. Great. Pretty good. Eh. Pretty good. Great. Good. Good. Pretty good. So... Um, yeah, it's a solid album, and their first that, um, that Loris actually considers an album since, sorry, um, yeah, that's that. Number four, Backroads and Abandoned Motels. I love how all of them get a chance for songs to sing, even within just the first three. I love Bitter End. And I'm just going to go through my opinions of every song in the album. Good. Pretty good. Great. Great. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, yeah, I'd say good. Um, then decent, great. I'm not so sure about the last one. Okay. Moving along. Hey. Smile. Um, pretty much every song is solid. I'll do the same, um, saying what I think about each song on the album. Great. Good. Great. I love the drum riff. Um, great. Decent. Good. 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 Great. Decent. Good. Decent. But um, the ones that are really good, such as Smile, what led me to this town, breaking the clouds. They're really good. And Mr. Wilson, obviously. Moving along. Number two, upon my second listen, XOXO. It's really good. And um, for some reason, this, this edition with three extra songs, it doesn't even say it has three extra songs. There's no sign of it anywhere. No sign of it anywhere. Like, only on the stickering. But that's not the point. Songs. Good. Great. Good. Eh. 
good, 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 great, decent, good. I love that um little riff and little victories. Um, decent, good, and finally, the one and only Sound of Flies. This is the special edition with the five bonus tracks. Don't have many opinions about any of them. The alternate version of it's up to you is weird. Kirby's tune is awesome. <laughs> okay, but um, <clears throat> I'm going to do my opinions. Great, 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 great. Good, great, great. No, good, great, good. Great, amazing, amazing, great, good. <sighs> Sorry, dog. Um, yeah, all of these songs are amazing, and I love how it builds up kind of to a climax. So, one more time, Hollywood Town Hall, Tomorrow the Greengrass, Top 5, Paging Mr. Proust, Backroads and Abandoned Motels, Top 3, Smile, XOXO, and obviously, Sound of Lies. Thank you. Hello, would you come? Press